so I'm not uh, that huge fan of saddle bags but then sometimes you need to carry extra stuff or maybe carry two people or maybe uh, carry your camping gear which includes a tent and blanket and mat and stuff like that your cooking gear so that can uh, need you to take more than just a tail bag which is what I do so my friend uh, Saurabh Sate from uh, Invictus Touring Gears he sent me these uh, stealth saddle bags to use and review so I've tried these bags on my Harley Davidson Fat Boy uh, my Java uh, even my uh, TVS XL they fitted perfectly as is but uh, for my Triumph Tiger and this uh, BMW 310 GS uh, I tried to fit them without a saddle stay and that didn't really you know work out well uh, that is because of the raised exhaust then this weird shaped uh, you know grab rail so the bags don't sit properly so what I did is I bought these saddle stays from Zana I installed them and then I uh, planted the bags on them so the securing mechanism is actually pretty simple uh, these are two independent bags and uh, there are these uh, these uh, three bands that go across two come from here and one comes from there and these work in a like a double D kind of fashion with a, with a velcro now you you can see the that the velcro ha hasn't reached up all up to here and all up to here uh, for this bike because this is very wide the same thing will happen on the tiger as well but for the other bikes i have it just fits very nicely now these things don't need to go into anything the whole purpose of this is just to uh, connect the two bags you can put them under the seat i've seen some people do this on the himalayan they, they actually take out the take out the rear seat and slide this underneath you can do that but actually the the way to secure these bags properly is not using these three uh, you know straps on top the way to do that is to use these points one th there's one point here there's another one here and there's a third one here I don't use this one because once the bags are placed all that you need to do is find a fixed point on the bike not anything that is connected to a swing arm because uh, there will be a problem but something that is linked to the chassis and there are these straps which they give you so you just have to uh, pull pull tighten them one in the front the other one at the back and you're sorted these bags are not going to move anywhere you can drop the bike uh, I mean you can do whatever you want the bags are not going to uh, leave leave the saddle stays okay let's talk about the space so each bag has got a side pouch uh, in fact they give you these uh, carrying hooks straps in fact which can be used to hook here and hook here and then you can carry the bag on your shoulder so there's two there's two straps here and uh, this bag is also expandable by about an inch and a half or so which is good in case you want to carry more stuff then there's one opening on top okay let's start with this first on the top you can see this pouch yeah it's a nice place to keep your tools some papers some documents which hangs on the top here then there's this velcro strip where you can add your name you can stitch some stuff on it and they give you these two waterproof bags which you can put all your stuff inside and put it in the bag so even if this whole thing gets completely drenched your stuff is safe inside so if you buy the bag from a store it will come to you in this fashion you know nice and big but if you buy it online it will come uh, a little smashed up and uh, what you'll find is in this pouch uh, there'll be two rolls of hard plastic so what you need to do is open the zip and place this plastic inside and once you do that this gives you the proper shape and and the shape stays so even if you even if you ride with them empty the bags won't sag the the shape will remain right. 
the other side is uh, similar there's a pouch here uh, they give you also a nice medical kit and these are the straps I was talking about uh, you basically find a fixed point on the bike I'll show you 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 find a fixed part on the bike you loop this in and then you take it through here in and take it out and pull it until it becomes completely tight and that's what I did here and there the back so these uh, they give you six straps for those six buckles uh, but since I use only four so these are extra on this side we have the same thing the same kind of a pouch here as well with toolkit and papers and medicines and stuff and they also give you two uh, dust covers one for each side and everything is same inside for, uh, for the outside you have a pouch here and a pouch there you can keep a water bottle or a small can of fuel oil or whatever and uh, that's about it it's a pretty simple simple setup uh, it's at least on the 310 GS it, it, it really feels as if the bags were made for, for the 310 GS right small size nice shape and they don't stick out too much I mean they have to because of the saddle stays but uh, it's not that big it is, it's just a little bit more than the handlebar so you may need to take care of uh, your your rear end a little bit more but apart from that uh, they're just fine for other bikes which they which don't need saddle stays these bags will hug the bike very closely 